A famous journalist once said, in Los Angeles, your eye keeps reaching for an endpoint and never finds it because it doesn't exist. In the city of angels, possibilities are endless. And those that look beyond the glitz and glam of Hollywood will find much more than a materialistic surface. Behind the cameras lies a real city with real people. And to experience the raw and organic life of Los Angeles, I highly recommend stepping into the city center downtown. It's there that you will be met with a blend of diversity and inclusion, see the city's beautiful architecture, and experience an ever-growing food scene. I have lived in LA for the past five years and have never grown tired of visiting downtown. In today's installment of my Discover Los Angeles series, I'll guide you through the historic core of the city center from visiting the historic Union Station and Old Spanish District to sampling some great eats at Grand Central Market, this is a virtual tour that you don't want to miss. The best place for us to start our journey through LA's historical past is to pay a visit to Union Station. This railway station is an architectural masterpiece. Even if you're not traveling to LA by train, stopping here is an absolute must. For a city that's constantly bulldozing over its past, a place like Union Station is a hidden gem and a big piece of Los Angeles history. Since its grand opening in 1939, not much has changed. Today, Union Station is still the busiest train station in the West and the 12th busiest in the nation. It also happens to be the central location for LA's subway system. That's right, LA does have a subway. For anyone wanting to avoid the hassle of parking and traffic, riding the subway is never a bad alternative and can save you from having to fork out too much cash on parking downtown. It's also worth mentioning that the East Lobby is home to a striking 80-foot mural, which pays a beautiful tribute to the early immigrants of the city. Directly across from Union Station lies the oldest district of the city, El Pueblo de Los Angeles. This district is centered around a historic plaza and its initial founding dates as far back as 1781, when California was still owned and ruled by a Spanish-occupied Mexico. Many consider this to be the birthplace of Los Angeles. This beautiful plaza is home to a number of museums, as well as the city's oldest street, Alvera Street. Today, Alvera Street is often coined as the world-renowned Mexican marketplace. It's the perfect place to come and experience a taste of Mexican culture and hosts a wide variety of outdoor shops to browse from. Alvera Street also happens to be the home of the Avila Adobe, the oldest standing house in Los Angeles. Originally built in 1818, this historic home was restored to its former glory, giving all who visit it a glimpse into the past life of Don Francisco Avila a native of Mexico who was the mayor of Los Angeles from 1810 until 1811. He built this home from adobe bricks, which is why today the home is named the Avila Adobe. The home remained occupied by the Avila family until 1847 when it briefly served as an outpost for soldiers during the Mexican-American War. The home officially became a museum in 1977, and the best part is that admission is free to all. If all this walking around the historic core of downtown is making you hungry, then you need to head over to Grand Central Market for a bite to eat. Originally established in 1917, 
this open food market offers just about anything your heart desires. Grand Central Market is the perfect representation of both the past and current cultural fusion that lives among the LA food scene. From Chinese food to Texan barbecue to German currywurst, your taste buds have a lot of options, making this the perfect place to visit more than just once. One of my personal favorite places to grab lunch is at Horse Thief Barbecue. Their tasty menu along with their patio dining and beer garden makes for a great atmosphere. And best of all, my friend Adam, a Texan native, says this place definitely gets his approval for its authentic and tasty beef brisket. I'm a big fan of their pulled pork sandwich and judging by his facial expressions, so is my dog, Jimmy. If you have a sweet tooth, don't miss out on Clark Street Bread which offers one of the most authentic Swedish pastries I've ever had, kanil bulle, or known to us English speakers as a cinnamon bun. The inner Scandinavian in me was overjoyed, but don't be fooled, there's no cream cheese frosting on this one. And that's okay, it's still just as delicious. The last stop on today's list is to visit the world's shortest railroad, Angel's Flight. Originally opened in 1901, this little track only goes up an incline of 298 feet, but the quick ride in one of its small cable cars is well worth it. The steep incline drops you off at the top of Bunker Hill, which was once the home to an affluent community of residents with large Victorian homes. Today, that community is long gone, and this area is now the home of LA's financial district. The tall skyscrapers that now stand here are a stark contrast to the former past. Now that you've seen some of downtown LA's historic gems, I hope you'll consider adding these destinations to your bucket list. This is a part of the city I never grow tired of visiting, so stay tuned. I have more gems to discover in downtown LA and throughout the rest of the city. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.